Former Army medic Jeremy Smith was wounded and paralyzed in Afghanistan. Clearly qualified for both medical and pension benefits, Jeremy was surprised when a VA counselor told him he wasn't disabled enough for vocational benefits. How can I not be disabled enough? I mean, how much more dis disabled do I need to be? Do I need to go out and get hit by a bus real quick? And okay, so this is my last patrol. Brandon Frazier has a similar story. A veteran of the 2004 Marine assault on Fallujah, Brandon suffered hearing loss and PTSD, but a VA counselor wrongly told him the VA does not help disabled veterans study pre-law. It didn't seem like he was in there to find a way to help me. He was in there to tell me that he couldn't. Looking for a way to turn you down. Right. And then there is Kenny Lyon. This one's a Marine sergeant whose miraculous battlefield rescue in Iraq and two-year fight to recover was profiled on 60 Minutes. I'm going to fight to retain everything I had before. Kenny had to fight the VA for five months, but after finally being told he would get vocational benefits to study at Gettysburg College, the VA called to say, stop. I was on my way to classes, and I got a phone call saying that it was not approved. You weren't getting the tuition? Yes. The VA benefits all these veterans requested are from a special program called Vocational Rehabilitation and Employment, or VOC Rehab. Separate from the GI Bill, VOC Rehab is just for disabled veterans, helping them find whatever training they need to either live on their own or find a job. When VOC Rehab works, which is most of the time, its services can range from sign language lessons to technical classes to Harvard Law School. But in a two-month investigation, CBS News found story after story of veterans wrongly denied benefits, veterans who even under the complex rules should have qualified. Makes me question everything that I've done. Was it right? Was it worth it? Voc Rehab does serve more than 100,000 disabled veterans, but in the last two years, the number of new applicants soared 28% to more than 78,000 last year alone. The VA claims it successfully rehabilitates 75% of the veterans in the system. This is an excellent program. Ruth Fanning is the program's director. Is 75% good enough? 75% is a good number for rehabilitation programs, and it represents um, veterans who have completed the program. But by not counting the veterans like Brandon and Jeremy who apply but don't get into the program, the VA is overstating its success. Two years ago, the VA's inspector general said if every veteran who applied was counted, that success rate could be as low as 18 percent. I'm asking about veterans who walk in and get what, what they believe is dismissed by the case officer. Well, and as I, it's an ex excellent point. If a veteran is out there who, who isn't happy, who doesn't feel that he or she was well served, we want to hear from them. One of Voc Rehab's problems is the number of qualified counselors. Last year, the GAO said most Voc Rehab regional offices had fewer counselors than they need. When the VA moved to hire outside counselors in 2008, it gave a contract in 44 states to one company, Heritage of America, that had no staff in most of the areas awarded. I thought, well, how come I'm not getting paid? And, and so then I'd ask other counselors um, if they've been paid. Vicki Olson and dozens of heritage counselors stopped being paid, which meant many stopped giving the tests that veterans need to get into voc rehab. Heritage blames the payment problems on the VA. I don't know why it happened in the first place. Meanwhile, Kenny Lyon, whose application was caught in the middle of that contract fight, had to use a connection at Walter Reed to help restore his benefits. And that's what scares me, is that somebody who is not as connected could get told no and accept that. Swing the tail around. It was designed as a nation's welcome home, a way to help disabled warriors return to work. But today's voc rehab program is too often uneven. Some vets approved for Harvard, others randomly rejected. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Washington.